Hey guys, this is Christian Latson, and this is my video on how to install a piezo into your Strat using an active harness. I recently purchased the SBK 3AD active harness from Guitar Fuel. It features a volume, balance, concentric treble, and bass knob, and concentric mid and frequency knob. This is the schematic for the SBK 3AD. I picked this harness because of its great features and the seller, Guitar Fuel, always sells great quality guitar products. You don't have to necessarily buy this harness or have an active system, but if you want your piezo to be usable in a live setting and have a fuller tone and control, you'll want to look into making it active. This is the harness installed onto the pickguard. As you can see, the harness is quality with strong, durable wiring, fancy circuits, and every soldered part is perfectly soldered. You may need to route out some of your guitar for the circuits. My strap body is an old Affinity Squire body, so the cavity was not deep enough and I had to carve out room. I snipped the original Radio Shack wires off of the piezo and soldered my own onto it to make it longer. You can actually hook those two wires up to a mono jack and test out different areas of the body for the vibrational sound you like best. This is the piezo wired to the, up to the balance pot, which was originally intended for your neck and bridge pickup to be blended but I wire my five-way switch to one side and the piezo to the other. Now all you have to do is glue the piezo to the body, wire up the ground to the back of the volume pot, and see how it sounds. How's it going everyone? Uh, this is Christian Latson. I'm going to show you how I utilized uh, the SPK 3AD harness um, to install a piezo pickup. I'm going to show you how I use it a few different ways with a few different effects. Um, I found it really beneficial for my style of playing because it's rhythmic. I usually don't use a pick, so I want it to pick up every sound that my hand makes uh, through the vibrations like an acoustic would. Um, so I'm going to run through a uh, clean channel really quick just to show you the, the EQ possibilities on this harness. So this is just with a single coil. Um, and I'm going to start uh, everything evenly and then uh, move it up and then down. So the treble, less treble, then the bass, more bass, less bass, the mid, more mid, less mid, and then the frequency control. And now I'm going to show you what it sounds like with just the piezo. And then with both of them together, single coils and piezo. Separately, they have their very distinctly different. When you put them together, it just it makes them uh, it just makes them come together so well because um, you can hear all the rhythm, you can hear the punchiness, you can hear um, you know the the single coils come out. So uh, with the balance in the center, I usually keep it right around there. It also kind of cancels the hum in some situations uh, with distortion. Um, I'm not sure if that's scientifically correct, but it seems to do that. So let's do a uh, uh, you know, a harder effect. So if you hear just the single coils, and then together, kind of cancels it out. So here we go.
as you can hear, you know, the echoes here and pick up the uh, the hits that I do um, much better than a, a single coil pickup would. Um, but the single coil can the uh, I'm sorry the piezo with distortion has almost no feedback. It can still act as if it was like a regular pickup. <laughs> If you love it, you love it. If you if you don't, you don't. But um, honestly, I'm always gonna have a piezo in my Strat now because it just it it allows me to do everything I want to do with it. So um, try it out yourself. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I've spent hours like troubleshooting it, so I think I got it to a good uh to a good level using the SPK 3D. So thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.